high alert medications have the highest risk of causing injury when misused. These medications have narrow therapeutic indexes or small margins of safety. That is, there is a small difference between a therapeutic dose and a harmful dose. High risk or high alert medications are those medications which have a heightened risk of patient harm when they are used in error. The objective of this session are as follows. To know the actual definition of HRM or HAM drugs. To know validated list of HRM. To know usual risk factors associated with HRM that may lead to medication error. To know the definition and common causes of medication error. To know the vital role of nurses in HRM management. For better understanding, the actual scenario, case reviews will be discussed as and when necessary. At the end of this session, the viewer should be able to identify the HRM or HAM in his or her regular practice and the risk factors involved while handling such medications. Be extra cautious to minimize the medication errors due to HRM and communicate if any untoward incidents occur involving HRMs. This case scenario explains severe consequence of administering wrong drug by nurse when mistaking it as another sounding alike drug. Sadly, significant harm can result if a patient receives the wrong dosage or medication error is made involving a high alert drug. When doctors or pharmacists or nurses make high alert medication errors, patients can suffer an immediate life-threatening condition, permanent injuries or even death. Thus, drugs with narrow therapeutic index, a slight change in the plasma drug concentrations can lead to overwhelming effect with significant damage to the patient's life. On inappropriate administration of these drugs can lead to medication error. Here, we can find a validated list of medications classified under HRM. The common factors considered for the fact of risk leading to errors while handling HRM are as follows. Firstly, improper written prescription can give rise to lot of ambiguities and misinterpretations of the prescribed drug or their details. Secondly, the sharing of similar alphabets between drug names and similarity in the packaging and labeling of the marketed products are considered to be look-alike and sound-alike drugs. Certain medical abbreviations, symbols and dose designations that are considered dangerous and have often contributed to serious medications errors. Labeling and packaging problems can create a state of confusion for the nurses while administering the prescribed drug. As you can see in the top right picture in the slide, Manitol injection and sodium chloride injection are having similar appearance, so mistake can occur while dispensing either of these drugs. Poorly written prescriptions are as example in the second picture. The name and dose of the drug has been written in the same column which should be avoided. In the third picture, prescriber has used inappropriate abbreviations as well as mentioning the dose and frequency of administration is unclear. Error can occur while miscalculating the dose of the drug. Calculations can go wrong mostly when converting the units dosage of the medication. Incorrect dilution procedures for IV solutions can lead to inappropriate or less or more dose required to achieve the therapeutic efficacy. Similar labeling and packaging from one drug to another and even from one dosage strength to another also causes confusion that can lead to medication errors. Human errors include miscalculating a dose, forgetting to dilute a medication or transporting the doses of two antibiotics while prescribing the medication. Environmental factors include high noise levels in nursing unit, poor lighting. Because of not following routine procedures for checking the correct drug against the medication chart, error happened. Instead of saline, nurse administered three ampules of potassium chloride. 
medication error are preventable errors made by health professionals which can lead to inappropriate medication use, thus harming the patient health. Such events may be related to professional practice, healthcare products, procedures and systems, including prescribing, order communication, product labeling, packaging and nomenclature, compounding, dispensing, distribution, administration, education, monitoring and use. These describe the ideal causes for medication errors according to ISMP. Failed communications can lead in medication error such as unclear handwriting or miscommunication taking place among the health professionals in telephone may lead in misunderstanding while dispensing drugs. Drugs which are named similarly create confusion in administering drugs leading in medication error. Drugs, when not written in capital letter, can lead to misinterpretation in terms of identifying the drug. Dosage for a medication, which are in decimals, if missed or not written visibly, cause medication error. Use of abbreviations or short forms which have had not been practiced or listed to be practiced in a prescription before are called as non-standard abbreviations. Similarly, environmental factor such as stress while working and technology or equipment which are insufficient in managing affluency among the working staffs leads to medication error. Examples of non-standard abbreviations are as shown in the pictures. The top picture is a medication error of inappropriate dosage. The bottom picture relates ineligible writing by the physician that can lead to medication error. Likewise, other causes are, there is always a risk of error when staffs other than a nurse is involved in activity requiring participation or supervision by a registered nurses only. When the drug is needed to be dispensed to more number of patients in short time, error can occur. When the nurses cannot concentrate at the prescription to be administered due to loss of interest. Drugs having similar appearance but different indication if dispensed incorrectly lead to error. Medication errors are occurred because of not implementing double check process. Miscalculations of dose of drug may lead to risk. Shortage of staff leading to work overload, stress among the staff and thus risk of medication error. Patient information, if is lacking, can cause medication error in case of calculation of doses, history of allergies with certain drugs, etc. Inability of nurses in counseling their patients in detail about each and every aspect of the drug therapy, including their benefits or complications. As we can see in the diagram, these are look-alike medications, but their strengths are different. In such cases, the dispensing should be considered with proper checking of the doses. In addition, such drugs which have the same indication but different strength should be stored separately. Because of not checking the warning label mentions on the containers on the drug leads to error. The table contains examples of medications which should not be crushed in the left column whereas medications which can be crushed in the right column. Nurses have a key role in management of HRM or HAM medications. Specific strategies are needed to be implemented in order to manage dispensing such medications, following which medication errors can be minimized leading to a better patient care. These are the few strategic points that are needed to be considered. Clarification of written prescription which is not clearly legible and understandable so that there is no confusion while dispensing HRM or HAM medications. Use of inappropriate abbreviations or unclear or incomplete short form specially for units by the physician should not be accepted at all and should be referred back to the prescriber as well as abbreviations or short form used while mentioning the drug names and dosing frequencies should be clarified with the prescriber properly. A nurses must check and recalculate with other staffs or healthcare professionals if the given dose is more than three or less than half of a normal dosing unit specifically for ampules or tablets. 
Doses which are unfamiliar should always be rechecked with the prescriber before administering the HAM or HRM medications. Doses should be mentioned along with their metric units such as for weight, gram, milligram, microgram, etc. The prescription which does not include such information should be clarified with the prescriber except for fixed dose combinations and local applications. In case of unclear or doubtful indication of the drugs for the particular disease, clarification with the prescriber is mandatory. Nurses must ensure that institutional policies related to medication transcription are followed. It isn't adequate to transcribe the medication as prescribed, but to ensure the correct medication is prescribed for the correct patient in the correct dosage via the correct route and timed correctly. Borrowing of medication from another patient in case of absence may lead to medication errors. It's necessary to check the patient's name and barcode before administering the medications. Sometimes allergies may occur while administering the HRMs, so cautiously checking of patients is necessary. Writing the identifications of patients by the means of verbal communication doesn't provide the sufficient information. Nurses Nurses should have clear understanding about the device from which drug is administered. One nurse calculating a medication dose for a specific patient and a second nurse independently performing the same calculation and matching results. Establish a check system whereby one nurse prepares the dose and another reviews it. The prescription drugs might be interacting with each other as well as might interact with foods, which may lead to undesired effect. Thus, this matter should be considered wisely before administering the drugs. The above table explain about the interaction between drug and food with their brief mechanism. High-risk medicines are those medicines that have a high risk of causing significant patient harm or death when used in error. So always try to refer the BBH high-risk medication list. Medication errors lead to harm to patients, so the strategies made to reduce errors by using technology, improving processes, zeroing in on errors that cause harm, and building a culture of safety. Any medication errors that are found at hospital should be reported immediately. We acknowledge Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences for their continuous support. Thank you.